Hey tribe, welcome back to my channel. So I wanted to talk about general pick a cards. What is it, how to approach it and how to get the best out of it. So first off, let's talk about the process. There is a reason you choose a certain pile. A lot of times you will notice that something that you hear in that pile, it is not news for you, it's just being confirmed. Even on my website, if you'll go on there, the first thing you'll see is a sentence that pops up saying, everything I am about to tell you has already crossed your mind, right? So why I always like to challenge you guys here on this channel, not giving you objects all the time, because I want you guys to develop your intuition and to feel which pile calls for your attention instead of picking by the most precious stone right and i'm pretty sure a lot of you guys are super intuitive here the clients that i have um, the connections that i made you guys are another level i think i'm gonna dedicate this video to those who are new to this and who've never thought about the process of how it works and why sometimes messages uh, resonate more, sometimes less, and what scenarios you can expect. What you do, you choose already your subconscious is much more clever than your conscious, right? A bit like that example of the iceberg, you know, your consciousness is on top of the water, you can see it, the subconscious is way beyond water and there is so much more going on. So your subconscious already knows in which group, one, two, three, or four, you have your message. A lot of times you're gonna notice that what you hear me talk about is something that you probably have thought of, has happened, or you were about to do it. So when it comes to future readings, if you choose a pile, uh, the unexpected or the next good thing, um, how I want you guys to approach it, whatever I'm telling you, this is something that you can achieve. This is within your reach, right? So what you have to do is meet whatever you believe in, God, universe, source, halfway, right? So say if I'm seeing lifestyle changing, someone who was stuck in a routine, you know, same thing all over again, and I see you guys um, achieving um, your most perfect lifestyle so say um, you travel you feel free do things that you love doing this is achievable how are you gonna get there and a lot of times a lot of people have already started doing something to get on that track in my channel guys you'll see that i most of the time tell you what i see i don't like to just give you precious messages you know wrapped in a paper very nicely because sometimes i really want to trigger something in you so that you start thinking about it right even if you don't like a message um you'll probably think about it why is this why is that i want you to be a bit analytical right and dig deep into the past or into your childhood traumas or into maybe your past life and how that influences you in order to have a have a bit of a broader perspective of why certain things are let's say i don't like that word blockage but it's very understandable for a lot of people. Why is this blocking me? Um, why is that that keeps repeating itself? So you might notice certain pattern. My job here is to collectively tune in to that, those, those groups energy, right? So you'll notice a lot of times I'll be jumping between scenarios and I'd be sometimes very specific, sometimes a bit general, probably around 400 or maybe more people have chosen the same group. So imagine how many people, how many scenarios, but what you need to take from it and how to filter those messages out, some things that I'm gonna say will almost like stick to you and the others you might even not hear it a lot of times what happens you click on a pile you listen especially if you're doing something you probably skip some parts of it you haven't even heard what i said and it's fine leave it there because those messages are probably for someone else but not you some things will be highlighted for you in the reading and those are the things that you could take with you i'm seeing it like a toolbox right so i open a toolbox for you i show you what kind of tools you have and you decide which one to pick and what to do with it the mission of this channel is to kind of push you towards a direction that you were already thinking about or you already on make it a bit clearer for you a bit easier for you obviously general readings will um, not will not be the same like personal reading so especially when i talk to you guys face to face we get to really deep things also what you might find um, is that you vibe with certain tarot readers um, spiritual people 
over time a bit more than others. That's why I call, you know, on this channel, you my tribe, because we have something in common. We probably have gone through similar experiences. Uh, probably our vibe is a bit similar, but there is something that we need to exchange from one another, right? So uh, naturally, don't question yourself too much. If um, you loved a certain reader, right so let's say me you vibe with me for a really long time and then suddenly you, you, you can't connect the messages this is completely normal uh, energy shift at all time and you will probably find home right somewhere else and then you can come back or you will keep you know changing the tarot readers over time every single person has something to offer they have gone through certain things they have certain insights that you need every reading that you come across is there for a reason especially if you truly feel like oh, i should click on this i don't know why everything is made of energy right so when you're being suggested certain uh, videos certain reading on youtube even from someone that you've never came across this is automatically a message for you, especially if you feel like you want to click on this, right? You won't want to click on every single thing that YouTube offers you, right? But you're like, mm, there is something there. That reading popped up for a reason. Tech is very easily influenced by energy. What I used to do before, um, I think a year ago, I still used to live with a bit more than a year ago. I still used to live with Joey and his channel is Joseph Moon, as a lot of you guys know. What we used to do is to sit still, play some uh, music on YouTube. We had a setting where automatically the next song would start playing. And when one song is about to finish, one of us would set the intention, what we want to hear about. So let's say, tell me something that I need to focus on through a song. Would it be visual? Would it be in the video? Would it be in lyrics? And what you'd notice a lot of times, that would be something that was really close to your heart and you thought of, right? So the, the same thing goes for YouTube and YouTube readings and people that you come across. There is always a reason that you come across someone, a reason why you've been drawn to certain reading, a reason why sometimes you feel like you want to click off, even if the reading has just started. Probably that's something that is not for you, it's for others and your reading will be somewhere else or it will be the next one. Hey tribe, quick interruption. I'm just editing the video and I have forgotten to talk about one important aspect. Sometimes people get um, very attached to a certain outcome. They want to hear what they want to hear. So it can be the outcome that they want to see happening or a person that they want to hear about or certain message that they have in mind. The more person thinks about that, right it becomes more so like an obsession they keep thinking about it every day it can happen a lot of times in relationship readings and they don't want to let it go right so it's a bit of a devil energy here you know that attachment or codependency to the outcome of person the more they will be drawn to certain messages where they'll hear what they want to hear so it becomes a bit of a slippery business the less attachments you have, the more grounded you are, the less of a chance that this is going to happen. So there is that quote, right? Um, I think um, it was on Instagram. I'm not sure by who this is. It says, if you keep thinking about a yellow car, you're going to spot a yellow car. So that's that type of situation. Let's get back to the video. Sometimes what people do, they listen to all the piles and they filter the messages out they feel now a lot of people ask me how how do i develop my intuition how do i differentiate what my mind my ego says to me and what my intuition tells me so i can put it very simply for you so let's say you have an apple and you have a banana and you're about to eat and you want to choose one of them if you'd use your mind instead of intuition you'd probably be thinking about uh, when was the last time i ate apple or banana let me think which one i hadn't had for a long time if you listen to your intuition you don't know why you don't have any facts you haven't um, analyzed the situation you just simply drawn to the apple so your body is being drawn to certain object or certain decision without the intellect Right, so the same goes for piles. I know sometimes people find it difficult when I put no objects on top, they all look the same. Each of us are very different. You can either um, use your hand and go through all the piles, right, and see where you feel warmth in which one or which one draws your palm the most, or 
you can close your eyes if you see a certain number in your mind. Another thing that you can do also is check your clock, um, see what time it is, what number it comes up to. One more thing, close your eyes and envision the borders, the outlines of each group. One, two, three, four, and you, you see those cards and you see only the outline. Which one of them seems that it's closest to you? That's gonna be your pile to choose. Um, this is only for those who sometimes get themselves confused or um, let's say if your day was busy and you're like, I have no idea, just make it easy for me, Brigitte, put an object on top, right? So just close your eyes, be still, zero yourself and allow your body to tell you which pile is yours. Sometimes if you come across a reading, especially if you do it quite often, I know a lot of people might be a bit, you know, doing it too much, picking piles, I'd say take time to live your life right now take charge of your life and don't get um, super attached to someone telling you what's gonna happen you know or especially when it's when it comes to the future the higher you are vibration wise and the more conscious you are what's helping you in this life what's not helping you in this life the more power you have to change things up you hold all the power when it comes to the outcome I'm here to guide you and to tell you the existing energies right every reading that is done is based on current energy and a lot of times it's probably going to happen the way that cards show but there are times when you hear something and you don't want this to happen or if you start working on certain patterns or maybe your ancestor line you are able to shift things up for your benefit so i hope that this made sense guys and i'll catch you soon bye for now